Quality has a sliding scale, Mr. Price. I like that you recognize that. I want you to do a job for me. I don't do that anymore. I'm retired. One million dollars. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. You've decided that you need her dead. And that means she's already dead. She just doesn't know it yet. Rich chick food. What the hell is that? Did you bring cash? I don't have any cash. In the car. What, did she give you a list? Why do we have to buy this girl anything anyway? It keeps her happy, <clears throat> it keeps her quiet. The less scared she is, the less likely she'll run, and the less bullshit we gotta deal with. How many of those you think we should get? 
Just get her, too. There's like 200 energy drinks in here. I don't know what to get her. Just pick one, dude. We gotta get out of here. You ever drink this shit? Nah, don't settle on me. How about this shit? Did she say something about her lips? What's the matter with you? Why don't you just put on a big, bright neon sign so the whole store can see? You don't have to be rude like that. Rude? Let me tell you something. I could give a shit what this spoiled little bitch wants, all right? Yeah. A high-maintenance ass is lucky if it don't wind up in a fucking bitch. Oh, good. I got your stuff right here. Right. Thanks, man. Can you please? You got anything to warm me up in there? Yeah, bruises in the back. What's that for? Solitaire. I don't know how to play. But I don't know how to play. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what you know how to do? You want something to fucking do? You can fucking do that. I can show you how to play. What the fuck? Oh, fuck! Somebody found you, dumbass! Huh? Shit. Damn! I got him. What do you think, huh? Let's just take it easy and go find him, huh? Come on. Kill her, yo. Huh? I said I'll fucking kill her. I don't care. I'm not fucking with you, man. I didn't say you were, did I? Please, please, no. You know what? She's loud. Kill her. Please. Do us both a favor. <laughs> I know how to count, you know? And you only get six chances, sport.
Did my father send you? What? Did my father send you? Oh, your father. Here, call him. Daddy? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, no, um, the man who said. What? What? Said he didn't send anybody. Good evening, sir. I have your daughter. And as you can hear, she's fine. Now, I want you to get together $200,000 in unmarked, non-sequential 10s, 20s, and 50s. And listen to me. Just wait for the next call. Talk or I'm gonna think, and I don't want to think about what happened back there. These guys were wannabes anyway, right? Start using a 38, you're not one. You're being. Is that your father? Um, yeah. He's early. An hour. So are you. She's not alone. There's a younger guy. Who is it? That's Van. Some sort of super marine. Super marine, huh? Come on, let's go. Nice. And what should I call you? Price. <laughs> Invention, I assume. I see you're overjoyed to see that your daughter is safe and sound. How are you, Jules? Everything all right? I'm doing just fine. Good. Oh, no, I, I don't like them. I'm winning myself. Do you have any children, Mr. Price? Just your daughter. Well, I thank you for that. Your uh, mercenary tactics mean very little to me in comparison to my daughter's well-being. Morality has a sliding scale, Mr. Price. I like that you recognize that. It's a good thing to bear in mind. Can I have a piece of pie and Beppy? Sure, honey. Hey, look. This is nice. Do not stall me. Not me. There's a briefcase under the table. Good. It's all there, just as you asked. You'll understand my suspicions if I have to verify the uh, <coughs> amount. Hey. Where are you going? The restroom. It's a nice place to, to count. Are you gonna make me kill you? Maybe. Okay, good. Put your weapon, keys, that stuff on the dash right now. Semper Fi, Mike. Get in. Oh, shit. 
Your check, sir. could potentially be in a lot of trouble when she goes forward. Isn't that why I hired you, Daniel? The avoidance of trouble and such? I'm not worried about winning this case. That's not it. We'll win the case eventually, no matter what. Good. But not before this woman starts talking. Well, don't worry about that. It's being handled. That's what worries me. Your idea of handled and mine may not be the same. As long as you cash my checks, you don't have the luxury of giving me lessons in morality. Will you excuse me a moment? Please, keep your seat, Counselor. Your bladder will hold, no? What are you doing here? Protecting our investment. This doesn't concern me, gentlemen. I will not ask you again. Our friend says take care of your business, Martin. He says soon. You came all the way down here to tell me that? Are we clear? Good. You may go take your piss now. So how long has this been going on? I don't know. You ever heard of Valerian? No. My son-in-law, he's an herbalist. <laughs> yeah, an herbalist. You know, after my Carol passed, he gives me this valerian. Now I sleep better without her than I ever did with her. You know, I'd hate to think that someone was following me. I mean, how would you react to something like that? Oh, drive. Huh. Drive. Thanks. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> Mr. Price?
I didn't spend my money finding you to try to get uh, even or some such thing. You know, I'm, I'm sorry about the tale, but uh, I had no other way to get in contact with you. Look, you know, before you kill me or strangle me with a towel or whatever you're going to do, just, uh, just keep in mind that this is a public place. So just, just hear me out. Okay. Talk. I really appreciate what you did for me and my daughter. Those degenerates probably would have killed the little pain in the ass whether I paid them or not. At any rate, uh... I did some asking around about you. You know, I, I do business in, in a lot of different circles, you understand. And one of the privileges of my position is I get to choose the men that I talk to. You know, it's one of the perks of my position. What do you want, Mr. Lennox? What are you going after? There's a certain freelance gun that dropped out of sight a couple years ago. Answer my question. What do you want? I want you to do a job for me. I don't do that anymore. I'm tired. One million dollars. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. Homewood, a little town about 300 miles from here. Time frame. Huh? You need your debt. I get that. When? Do you need a debt? Oh, uh, less than 10 days. Understand when I say less than. My situation is such that anything beyond that point can be very... You've decided that you need a debt, and that means she's already dead. She just doesn't know it yet. I'm thinking about moving. Where would you go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I've thought about it. But I guess everyone always says that, right? I'm going to go. And then no one ever does. You've said it too. Before, I mean. A few times. <laughs> you know, I have an uncle in Chicago. He always says the same thing. Connie, I'm telling you, I gotta get out of this city. 10 years, he's saying he's gonna go. <laughs> But no one ever does. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Rick, please, not here. Well, then where? You tell me, I'll, I'll be there. You do that again, I will call 911.
You know what, they'll send a couple cops and what are you gonna tell them? That you're scared? <laughs> We're having, what, a fight? I'll make a joke, the cops will laugh. We'll be ribbing each other about your funny little neurotic ways. And when you call 911 again, they won't feel the need to come back. The rest of the evening will only be you and me. How should I handle that? It's over, Rick. Is it? Hello. Hi, Frank. When? To tomorrow? Yeah, but you're my attorney, not this Michael Donovan person. You sure that you have to see me? The letter's safe, I told you. You make me nervous when you start using all these legal terms. Well, I'll do what I have to do. It's all right. It's all right, Frank. I just... I'm just ready for all of it to be over, you know? Okay. All right. Thank you. Good night.
Probably farther, huh? hoping for the next 48 hours, Mr. Price. This waiting has become somewhat uncomfortable for me. Can we proceed? At my own pace. The money I am paying you, Mr. Price, is my own, and so should be the pace. Am I clear? Good. I'll expect confirmation then, shortly. running away from me. Two people who love each other gotta be able to talk to each other. I'm just going home, Rick, okay? But don't touch me! If you touch me again, I will goddamn scream. What do you want to talk about? I miss you. God, please don't. Don't! Don't! Come on! No, stop don't. screaming! Stop please. screaming! Please. What are you please. doing? Shh! No. Shh! Come no. on! No! Come on. No! Come on. I just want to be with you. Open your mouth. Uh, do you believe I'll kill you? You're right. I won't go near her. I swear to you, I'll never go near her again. Doesn't ring true. Please. Please. I don't want to die. Nobody does. Are you all right? I'm sorry about, uh, But he won't be bothering you again, okay? Why did you do that? Hey, um, can I, can I uh, take you anywhere? My friend is inside. There you go. I'll see you. Thank you.
be three designated call-in times, so you can keep me posted on your progress. And when it comes time to transact, it has to be an accident, not just look like one. I know my business, Mr. Lemmix. My accident's fine. Make sure that's how it's thought to be. She's already dead, huh? Yeah. Just hasn't hit the old bitch yet. was too soon for you to come here. I'm okay. That's pretty much your default response these days. I'm okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I am... I'm happy to be out, you know, around people. I just, I... I feel like such a jerk. Forever letting Rick anywhere near me. I get lonely. I drop my guard. Hold on a second. I think I owe you a drink. I already have one. Why not drink it with us? So what's your excuse? For what? Being here. Answered an ad. She's gonna be head librarian one of these days. No, really. Don't pretend to be impressed. Doesn't suit you. And what, what do you do, Jack? Oh, I import. What do you import? Toys, unique toys for kids. Um, home soap making kit, combo set, glow-in-the-dark crayons. Italy's uh, really big in the glow-in-the-dark arena. <laughs> it's temporary, though, uh, the toys. I'm saving my money and uh, I'm figuring out and finding a place to go. To go? A place with strangers. Nothing familiar, no past, anonymity. I knew a guy briefly who lived in a place called Andorra. Near Spain? Yeah, wow. Most people don't know that. Anyway, I went over there on business to purchase some unusual pieces and uh, it just looked like the kind of place that I would like to be someplace down the line, so. Who knows? You know, I see a guy over there who's just cute enough to catch my interest and drunk enough to think likewise, so... Excuse me. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. What? Oh. You beat up one of your boyfriends. Never. You? I never had a boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean. The small talk, it's just so... Um... Small? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I've always just been um, shy. A loner. It's not the best selling point, but there it is. Me, yeah, I'm a people person. Can you tell? So do you often gravitate toward Rick's? Uh, Connie says it's low self-esteem. I say it's bait and switch. You know, guy's on his best behavior when you first meet him and then he's not really, you know. Look, uh, you know, there's something actually that, that I have to do that, that I should have done earlier. Um, you need to live somewhere? Your friend uh, appears busy. I thought you weren't a local girl. <laughs> I'm not. So where are they? Well, they live in Nassau, here in Nassau. When they're here, I, I usually stay in the guest house, but uh, I guess they figured they could trust me because they left, and somehow I graduated to the main building. Hello. Must be nice in Nassau. Wow, lots of swimming and sunning and swimming and sunning and 
Do you like to swim? Huh? What was that? I like to swim. Oh. <clears throat> Actually, I, I enjoy swimming very much. It, it relaxes me. Helps you think? Yeah. Well, it helps me think, um, better. Sorry, Dave's kind of large. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Perk for a house in, huh? Yeah, it's great. It's great. To de stress, feel free. I love it. Are you there? If you're hungry, I can make you something to eat. I gotta go. No, I'm not hungry. I'm... I gotta go. Why don't, why don't you stay for a while? You stay? I'm, I, I gotta... Like I said, a tough day. I gotta go. Can I call you? get a lot of guests up here. I'm not really good at this. I'll call you. Give me a number. You can call me at the library. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. Thanks for the swim. <laughs> Hi, this is Sarah. Hey, uh, Sarah, it's Jack. Jack, um, do I know you? Jack? Uh, hi. It's called a joke. <laughs> it's generally better when both people laugh, but... Hey, something to look forward to, right? <laughs> um, hey, listen, I was wondering if you wanted to get together sometime. Are you asking me out on a date? <laughs> Why don't you come by the house? Um, two-ish. Ish? No, you're not an ish person? No. But okay.
You're late. Now, we made a deal, Mr. Price. Where are you in this? Getting close. Well, I'm afraid that's not good enough. Have you forgotten? I'm on a timetable, Mr. Price. Man can't do a job. Should not take that particular job. Really? Not good enough for you. Getting close? Too bad. Yes. Your time is running out. If you cannot do this, you know I will have to, and that will make someone very unhappy. I know. He might even question your usefulness if you're not able to accomplish this one little thing. It's a little strange, but you'll see. So, uh, stand right there. Okay. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I like to do it, and then you can try. Five for five. Can you hold that for me? Oh. What, oh. you never held a gun before? Well, a few times. A few times. Uh, gun range, I had a little experience. First time I shot was with my father. We owned this land. He loved to hunt. He'd get all jazzed up if he can go out and come back with some kind of a carcass. I never really liked it, though. So, when I was like 13, Dick me and my sister to this bird sanctuary we had. You know, the wooden cabins with the bird feeders inside. So we were in there, and he gave me this gun. I think it was a little 22. And he told me he wanted me to kill one of the birds. I love these birds. What'd you do? I did what any self-respecting 13-year-old girl would do. I started crying. He was mad at me at first. I think he wanted me to be more like him. You know, share in this odd fascination he had with killing defenseless animals. Okay, I'm ready for you. It's a little late for dinner, don't you think? I mean, it smells good, though. I like to cook at night. It's an old habit. Freeze it all. I think I have a week of microwave dinners. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm a world-class insomniac. It's my confession to you. I go to the store. Huh? At night, when I can't sleep, I go to the store. I don't buy much, maybe. Yeah. Milk, gum. You know, night comes and I get itchy. Like you were saying, I guess. What if the store's closed? <sighs> How are you with the knife? Better than you are with a gun? Oh, I get it. I can, I can do that. One more time, what's your name? Decatur. Decatur, who hired you? Lennox sent me. I like being saved much. The second time makes me feel, I don't know. He didn't hurt you, did he? I'm okay. My, my dog, my dog is gone. He usually comes back. He's gonna come back, right? Give me a glass of water, I'm gonna get you out of no, I, no, I don't want any water. I just want you to sit with me. Could you sit with me, please? Just sit with me. Sure. We should, we should call the police, right? No, I'll do that later. Questions, take statements. Not always. This is not new territory for me. Police interrogations. Bullshit. I've seen more than I want to remember. I look at you and I think you've seen too much too. Oh, I'm fine. Huh. My share, whatever. We don't get a share, Jack. Not if we're lucky. I was 11 years old when I saw my mother murdered. <clears throat> it wasn't until I was older that I was able to admit it to myself and go through something like that. 
Mom had all the money. Dad wanted it. So he killed her. Take that water now. Tried to pretend that none of it ever happened, hoping it would just go away, but it didn't. So I ran. After years of running, nothing changed. I figured why not turn around and run straight at it. I went to the DA and told him what I saw. So, um, what'd you see? man coming out of their bedroom. His face, his cheek, like it'd been ripped in a fight. And there was a letter by the bed. My mother had written me that she was leaving my father, that I shouldn't blame myself, that she loved me. And then I walked to the bathroom, and there was my mother. Hanging. I'm sorry. Um. Police did their own stupid investigation, put my father in front of the grand jury, said it was suicide. And that was my letter. And I was afraid to share it with anybody. I was young, I didn't understand. The new hearing is next week, I'm the only witness. Sarah, you're a very strong person. No, I'm a wreck. <laughs> hey, you should, you should maybe get some rest. Don't leave. No, I'm... Hey. No, no, I'm not leaving. I'll, I'll be right here. Come on. Right here. Shh. I swim. Um, before you ask me what I do when I can't sleep, I go to the lake and it's just me and the moon and um, all the quiet in the world and uh, I swim. Sarah. I'm sorry. I was trying to be quiet. I'm just, I'm going to work. What's wrong? You okay? You know, keeping a routine is my only saving grace, so... Um, you're welcome to stay. I, I'm gonna be coming back after lunch. Uh, are you gonna be here later? No, not here. I... <sighs> we gotta stay together now. You understand? We gotta. This house is a bad idea, really bad. Okay. Here's my cell.
Okay, okay. Great, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Um, I'm the public library, help us. I came by earlier looking for you. 20 minutes earlier, before I found you. I, I was in one of the offices in a meeting. With who? What? Your meeting with who? Hmm? Why in the hell are you following me? You got it backwards, darling. You followed me. She's my sister. You? My younger sister. We have different mothers. She came by to warn me. Talking to your sister wasn't a good idea. I don't listen to the help. The man that killed your mother, your father, that's her father. Yeah, that's what I just said. What? Jesus. You said she came by to warn you. Jesus, Jack, you're scaring me. The last time you spoke to her. A long time. How long? Years. Years. Ten years. I don't know. She stayed back with my father, all right, for the security, the money. Why do you want to know? Why are you asking about her? Talk to me, Jack. Tell me what's going on. Go get your things. Pack your bags down the road.
arms and may leave. Semper Fi, Mac. Sarah, here, I believe I want this. I, uh, I took it before. I figured you might want to have it as a keepsake. Look at her. Sweet face she had. Yeah. Who's the guy? That's my dad. Hang on. This is your father? Mm-hmm. Hmm. you think it was? Well, aren't you going to kill me? That's why you're here, isn't it? A small part of me didn't even mind. Being tired will do that to you. Make you wish for it all to stop. No, Sarah. I'm not gonna kill you. Wasn't completely sure about that. 
until that night. You held me like, like it was more than comfort for you. For the first time in a long time, I didn't feel so alone. I can't keep running. I can't keep pretending that none of this ever happened. My mother. Jewels, my life. Someone has to be responsible. Someone is. to die, to pay for killing my mother, for killing me, for who I might have been, I killed that person, and the law, and the police, and all of this bullshit, I imagine would somehow bring me deliverance, it means nothing. Do you understand what you're saying? You have to. You may be just trading him devils, him for me. I kill people, Sarah, okay? I kill people for a living. And I was hired to kill you. But you didn't. Fucking towels does one man need? Do you know who I am? Oh my god. <laughs> and me. I'm sure you remember. Hey, what do you want? You want the rest of your money? This isn't about money anymore. Oh, come on. It's always about money. You're smarter than that. We haven't actually met. I'm Sarah. Yeah, I know you are. What do we call you? <laughs> Look, I'm not interested in playing your games. Get interested. Okay. If you value your life, then get Martin Lennox on the phone. No. Exactly. What would my life be worth if I were to do something like that? Well, it's a question of degrees. How so? I can kill you fast. I can kill you real slow. Either way, inside of this room, last thing you're ever going to see. You got a cell phone? He's more likely to take a call from you. Mr. Lennox. Yes, yes, I, I know, but but this is urgent. I... Hello, Father. Yes, I'm surprised to hear your voice, too. I don't think so. 
Here's what I'm offering. I'll drop the case and hand you the evidence. But first, you pay Mr. Price the remainder of his fee plus $1 million. I'll call you with an exact location in 45 minutes. And Dad, come alone. Long time. Long time since I've seen him. When he gets here, tell me the number of people in the vehicle, okay? I'll be right there. Driver can't see the back seat. Move. Let's go. She said, Come alone. Let me see your hands. You're kidding. Look from there, Dad. A lot of years. A lot of years. Want to tell me the story with the other guy? Other guy? The other Martin. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you never knew me to be a social kind of fella. That, that was his job. Small stuff. A man in my position can afford to distance himself. That's the joy of it, really, wouldn't you say? Now, may I ask you a question? OK. You waited 20 odd years for this. That's a long time to harbor anything. What in heaven's name possessed you to come forward now? Sleep. Sleep? I haven't had a really 
good night's sleep since I was 11 years old. Those images, they never left me. Maybe now they will. She was lovely, you know, your mother. But there just wasn't any other way. In business, you often have to do more, go further, be bold in ways that you might never have imagined. It's that very boldness that has uh, provided me this life. I'd like to think that I passed that boldness along to you. Maybe you did. Good. All I ask is that you at least try to think about it from my side. Sarah? yours now. Wait till I get back to the car. Then you can take it, put the bag in its place. You know, for most people, doing what you did, living would be worse than dying. <laughs> for most people? Perhaps. Consider this a favor. We're good. You and me.